All right, folks, the deck is Beast Hunter. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of beasts and then eventually get to a Frostsaver Matriarch and Knight of the Wild at a reduced cost, which we can then buff up with things like Mark of the Lotus and Mark of Yashara, and then eventually close out the game with Claw Fury Adept, which is Savage Roar on a body, as well as Savage Roar itself to kill our opponent. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. I think you said Hunter. I'll fix it in post. I saw chat moving quickly, and I assume that um, I misspoke in some way. Because chat loves nothing more than to ridicule me when I make the simplest of mistakes. Uh, but then I just chose to ignore it because it didn't matter. Everybody's making the same dumb joke. Ha ha, nice beast hunter. Ha ha ha. Alright, well. I guess I should have expected this would be our first matchup. Just keep the Night of the Wild, even though it's incredibly ambitious and really dumb. But, like, it's got to see play at some point, right? We just need to hit a big power spike with these two. So I play a turn one Mark of the Lotus, right? Um, actually what I need is like a bees. Oh my god. Well, if these cards are gonna be good, this is the game that they're gonna be good. Legitimate no hesitation, so <laughs> turn three savager. I just needed to clean up that cannon. Does Knight of the Wild only work in your hand? Yes. So it is like it's quite a bit worse than the Frost Saber, but I don't know. No one's ever gotten to play Knight of the Wild before, so figured I'd try it. Okay. Hee-haw. That actually makes one of the big threats playable next turn if I want it. Um, bees actually makes the entire set of them playable. Hard countered. What on... <laughs> Okay, I deserve to top deck of bees after that, right? That's such a horrifically bad draw here. Game one, and I get hit with a Galaka Glutton on curve as Beast Hunter. Just want to go back to playing Owl, Owl Warlock so that I can farm these Pirate Warriors somewhere. Sniping? No, they just generated it and got lucky. Not every bad thing that happens is sniping. Oh, one turn too late. I hate you.
I just hate this deck so much. I know I've mentioned that a lot today, but I, I it bears repeating. I hate Pirate Warrior. Yep. Yep. I despise this deck. It has officially become my least favorite deck that has ever existed in Wild Hearthstone. And I've been playing Wild Hearthstone for quite a long time. Seen a lot of really frustrating metagames, but rarely during that time was the most frustrating deck for me to play against, like far and away the best deck in the format, which is what's happening with Pirate Warrior. And therefore it's like far and away the more popular, most one of the most popular decks in the format. It popular, it's the most popular deck in the format. With the light of a machine, I will fight to protect the wild. What? Is this place? Yep. Good curve. Try and get to the matriarch as quickly as possible. Turn four matriarch. Oh. Pretty much of a turn four yeti. Actually, a good draw here. Going 15 on board, quite a lot with the Savage or Mark of the Lotus. Concerning. What does that even accomplish? I can see. Apparently nothing. Yeah. Alright, Matriarch was pretty good there. I mean, just aggro druid was pretty good there is really what it comes down to. Also, like, the, the coin oak and summons is always a bit of a head-scratcher. Um, like, I know they're pretty desperate there, but could have gone poorly for them if they hit a uh, Vargoth. But I guess they're kind of desperate. Oh no. I hadn't seen a free shaman all day. Okay, this is a good enough hand to keep. I 
I just need to get um, damage through before they hit the Snowfall Guardian. So look for like a very, very quick lethal and Savage Roar definitely helps with that. Time to get Murabi'd? That would be ideal if the opponent is running Murabi. Pretty good opener. Ooh. Huh? Not expecting it to ball. I don't know if we're getting there, chat. Reno free shutter? I think it's just Reno. Yeah, there's probably some free stuff in here, but it's more just likely to be aiming towards the uh, Reno stuff. Would have been nice to kill the Zeph there, but like without giving up the Savage Roar, it was. Or like the Haunt felt kind of bad. It's gotta be game, right? Yeah. I'll miss you. Unfortunately, there's no like way to create. A wide refill board in this deck or with uh, beasts. Like, I think the glow flies are beast, but you don't really want to run that many spells in this deck, I don't think. Time to remind everyone that I hate this deck. Good curve. All right, just having a one and a two is good in this matchup. Could be good on turn three. Coin cannon would be a bit rough, but I guess I could just Trade the uh, Raven with it. The Creeper dies, you can have a turn that three Matriarch? Uh, no, probably not, because the spiders aren't actually beasts. They're spectral spiders.
kind of want them to trade into this. That's what I'm talking to bait. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. It's a good draw. Turn away dump hand. We're gonna need more gunpowder. Of course. Base, please. I'll take it. Look at the tiny turtle. Don't ever change, Guff. I think this is GG. Have you never played against Pirate Warrior before? Because I'm going to lose half of this board right now. The opponent very easily could have won that. I don't know why they conceded. I guess I had two turn. Maybe they could have died, but... I don't know. It never feels like the game is over until the opponent's hero explodes. I believe this is hell, Guff. Just pirate warrior after pirate warrior is my own personal hell. Honestly, we should just all play Druid decks because Duff is so lovable. Yeah. Guff makes everything better, though. I can agree with that. The Gravewalker, thank you for the Prime. No, stop playing cards. You played enough already. I said you played enough! They never listen. Look at the tiny turtles. That was a very good draw. All right, Knight of the Wild is not really going to be that useful this game, but uh, Matriarch still could be. Very soon going to lose some of wait. They drew this naturally? Okay. 
But anyway, I'm very soon going to lose a lot of these, so I want to have the bees for refill. We're gonna need more gunpowder. Yeah. <sighs> good hits for me, at least. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Eight, six, fourteen. Sixteen, seventeen, I'm two off. Hmm. The real problem though is like do I just have to cash in on the damage now? This deck so much. I just hate it. Because they're getting the cannon shots next turn, right? So I'm going to lose some of this. I want to preserve at least this. So here. Just leave this on the board, maybe. This, yeah. Base. Base or creeper, please. It's probably GG. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle swash. Who goes there? Who goes there? I just, I like, there's no point in playing this out, right? It's just going to take five turns for me to realize that the game was over four turns ago. Yeah. If they clear this, it's GG. Yep. I hate this deck. Like, it, it, I just, I hate Pirate Warriors. Tired of it. I've been tired of it. And making it really hard to enjoy the expansion. Problem with the hot takes? I mean, Warrior has a nearly 60% win rate in the format. That's not a hot take. I guess it declined a bit since Shaman is increasing, but, like, just such an aggravating deck to play against. I don't think Bees is that great into Priest. I don't know what type of Priest it is, but I can't reliably expect the uh, to have a target to attack. Maybe we get to see how good Wing Commander Mulvrick is. Is that 57 at one point? Has anything ever hit that high before? Um, well, you have to keep in mind that the HS replay stats were only warrior as a class, not the archetype of pirate warrior, but like the highest recorded win rate, I think, in history was um, like 60% with uh, Undertaker Hunter. And someone still had the audacity to tell me that wasn't the most broken deck in Hearthstone relative to other things.
Okay, looks like it's Combo Priest. Was it Hand Buff Aladdin up there? Yes, for a while it was. Just need to kill quickly, especially before they get a direct R. Yeah, I don't even know that Giant's Lock was the best deck at the time when it was popular. It was just annoying. I want to spread my threats as much as I can. Point one of these out as well. Uh, the reason being is I don't want to go hard on one because they could wave and uh, potion to uh, like steal it and then kill me. Plus, luck had something about seventy-five percent. No, <laughs> don't be outrageous. A deck could never possibly hit a seventy-five percent win rate. We don't actually have like good data on quest lock because it was eventually nerfed. Like we, we've seen what Pirate Warrior can do over the course of a very long time. Like a 75% win rate is just impossible for a deck across the population of Hearthstone. Because if a deck were that good, it would queue into itself a lot. Pre-nerf Hysteria and Tiller was crazy? Yeah, it was crazy how bad that deck was to not even register as like a good deck. That deck was atrocious. Um, it wasn't even the best Warlock deck at the time. It was just like a literal game-breaking bug, not because of its power. Tiller, Warlock, or Priest, for that matter, is not at all comparable to anything we're talking about right now. Was crushing it with Dark Lair back then? That's because Dark Lair was a good deck. <laughs> People get mad at me when I say that, though, because it was a frustrating deck to play against when it worked. And so, like, people's memories of how powerful the deck is are skewed by how frustrating it was and how, like, obnoxious the animations were. Why do they get mad at you? You just state the obvious? Well, because what I state doesn't coincide with, like, their memory of how things were at the time. A lot of people really disliked um, the Teller Warlock games because they were just kind of dumb. <laughs> it says to attack. Need to clear some board space here. That was fun. Job done. I guess the real reason is people don't like hearing opinions that don't coincide with their own. So rather than evaluate them, they just get mad. We all do it. We will feed on this world. Brilliant. I didn't have... I had no burst. Did they just draw... Oh my god, they only hit one minion. That's why they conceded. This is 
I wish I were running Trog. What is this place? Just gonna go hopefully find a one and a two and a three. I don't think bees is very good here. Got a one mana card, but not one that's playable here. Asking you shall receive, I guess. Look at the tiny turtles. Look at those tiny turtles. Wait, but my board. I might use the Shandu on the Frost Saber now. Hit a second matriarch here. Oh, now I hit the creepers. Right. I mean, they probably clear this, so I'm just gonna have to buff my deck, which means I should have played it earlier, but I had Hopium. Yes. You really baited me because, you know, that minion based deck wasn't going to play a minion or anything. You idiot. Alright, cool. Fun it wins. Yeah, they really outsmarted me there. So many cool new cards, so few people playing them. I just want to make sure I have a two drop, even if it's not necessarily the best.
So I never draw this against warrior, but I always draw it against hunter. Is that how this works? Going tall is probably better than going wide into Hunter at this stage, at least. Eventually, going wide is beneficial, but I don't want them to just like pick off my early minions because it's easy to do. damage by turn three is pretty good the expansion buff baku hunter nope fortunately yeah, at least we get some adept value What are you waiting for? Look at, the tiny turtles. at least we've got the tiny turtles to look at. Gotta look at something while we wait for the opponent. Just outrageous. Alright. Early Galaka, early Shandu. I gotta pitch this. I gotta find a one drop. Or another two drop to coin. Probably just want a one drop though. It's a good draw. I mean, a single Galaka doesn't win this matchup though, is the problem. Like, it helps. It absolutely helps, but it's not as backbreaking as it as people make it out to be. Just because, like, uh, well, double Galaka might do it. But like, they still have Ankar. They still have the Juggernaut. So. They still have this stage of the quest that uh, blows me out of the game. No. I'm not entirely sure what more I can do.
don't really have a good uh, Galaka target here, so I might just have to save it for the Rokara. Got a Galaka target now, but like it's not gonna win me a game. This game's already over. Why are you trading? Because they I'm the aggro. I'm the aggressor here. They have infinite value. They have inevitability. They win the board. I can't swing it back against them. So. We're gonna need more gunpowder. They have every reason to trade in this matchup at this stage. We're gonna need more gunpowder. This is unbelievable. I hope they play the Rakara this coming turn, and I have enough damage to get there. Got some lucky cannon shots, and allowed most of my board to survive at least. I did not think I was going to be able to pull that out. That was a nightmare game. Knight of the Wild actually pulled a lot of weight there. But again, like even even the wins aren't fun against that deck. Like if you're trying to play for board, it is very hard to win against uh, Pirate Warrior because of the cannon shots. Double Galakas finally did it. Like, honestly, I th I think the opponent would have won if they didn't play the Captain Greenskin and instead got the Rokara down a turn earlier instead of expending five mana on the Greenskin. Tempting to keep the Claw Fury, but um, double B's okay. Armor, armor, light to use armor. What class is that? I mean, I know it's different, but like Shaman is approaching <laughs> the same uh, like tier as uh, Warrior and Hunter. The good news is that Shaman at least beats pirate warrior so bad news is it also beats me i think it's harder for them to deal the wide board than a tall one because they have free stuff Say Hambo Pout is almost in that tier? No, probably not even close. I think the amount of separation between good decks and the best deck is. Really hoping they didn't hit a healing totem there. Is. Uh... Anyway, it's a bigger difference between those. 
decks than you think. Than anyone than we've seen before, to be honest. That heal totem was pretty bad for me. I lost a token as a result of it. I've not seen that as an inclusion before. I think I have to clear it too. Maybe that means they're not the combo version, which might mean they're not running the uh, five mana card, which. Never mind. possible we don't get to attack for the rest of this game. Why does Snowfall Guardian look like a peanut? Uh, because it's got that tiny stegosaurus brain. Yeah, it's just not a good matchup. Unfortunately, we're like in this in-between zone where we're not fast enough to beat Questline Hunter. But not like... Able to, I don't know. Seems like the deck's bad. It's a lot of tokens, so maybe that can get me there. None will survive. Yep. Maybe possible that I can like hit a 1-1 one -one with him. It doesn't feel worth to me. So. That seems pretty good. Off curve, but don't have a great play that's on curve. Next turn, I can go bees. Bees? Uh, into Mark.
Walter, thank you for the four months. One of the better starts I've had in this matchup. So that's reassuring at least. Still, oh. they always have the power shot, don't they? that many turns left but they snap pick that is that a, another power shot off the resizing pouch Time to draw that. Well, Fairy Adept has awful art, but the card got me to Legend, so I give it a pass. I think the art's just fine. I like the art on it. I was not expecting to unleash the hounds. But. Just ping ponging back and forth between these two stupid decks. Point listen to this and then have a bees follow up. But it also full cap, so bummer. Quest is right here, friend. Just play it. Time to dilly dally. I 
don't think I've ever hated an opponent more than what they just did right there. But we have the punish chat. A very good hand uh, for what I need to do here, I think. I'd like some Galakas, but... Fly, pony. He's good here. Is it better than the bees, though? The bees gives me a way to answer. Hmm. I kind of just like the bees. Next turn, I can just go double donkey plus these two. Pretty strong. This is kind of what I was afraid of, though. Someone's gotta lead the charge. So now I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> gotta kill the cannon, right? also has the benefit of forcing attacks into my big taunt, which they generally don't want to do. Am I a monster for wanting to see another randomly generated Galaka glutton? Yes. Yes, you are. Still a good turn for me. Alright. I haven't played the Ankar yet. I just need to dodge like Ankar plus uh, Cannoneer and I think we're in. Okay, should be good. Even a deckhand isn't enough here. That's bad. I might just cash in on the roar, regardless of what I hit. Hmm. Or is eight teen? Donkey's putting in work. <laughs> you? I hate. Get out of here. Rope in turn one. Uh, 
That actually felt good. Yeah, having the like the high roll cost reducers is uh, the key to that game. I think even more so than um, the Laka. It seems like a really bad idea, but I'm going to do it. Like, I'm one copy of the bees from just, like, having a gross turn, None right? Will survive. Okay. That makes up for the rest of my hand a little bit here. Okay. Getting there. Like, I legitimately just need a copy of the bees, and it's just a ridiculous uh, blowout. No way they use the coin here, right? That would be outrageous. we're in next turn like if I'm gonna get hit with the power shot it might as well be now matriarch oh my god I don't even have the board space. <laughs> oh my god. Skill command. Suddenly Dark Glare Droid, yeah. Now I just need some Savage Roar action. But this dies, right? Are you crazy? Could have gotten punished, but it did not. Oh, thank you. Dear God, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know what I was just thinking is, I wish I had more cards so that I had a better chance of drawing into Savage Roar, but opponent had my back. They would need, like, Hunter's Mark Plus. And even then, that's not enough. They can't get through this, can they? Like, my power shot position is just kind of fine. Yeah, you're still dead on board, though. Well Whew! <laughs> uh, I guess the greedy keep paid off. Alright, I'm gonna go until we lose. And then call it a day. I know I'm close to Legend, but, like, this is... Not likely to be the deck that gets me there because it's not very um, good. And also, I really need to pee. Your turn. 
time has come. What is this place? This and this are very good. Alright. I'm gonna take a quick pee break. Right now. Apologies to the opponent. What is this? Corrupt the waters? Nice. That's good news for me. Because that's uh, not a strong card. Oh. Also nice. Look at the tiny turtle. Really wish I were running a Lothab in this deck, but Lothab is not a beast, unfortunately. So it would be illegal for me to run him. Just need a one mana beast off the top. Don't have that many. I need an adorable infestation. I think. Oof. I was not expecting that card because it hasn't been played a lot recently. But I guess with the corrupt the waters, I maybe should have uh, like reconsidered. Or not assumed what I was up against. I was expecting like a freeze combo shaman that's been running around. Okay. Not the best use of Lothab. Or parrot. This train seems pretty gross. Please don't have Flurgle Tox fan. Oh my god! Somehow that's worse. Or at least just as good. game anyway. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll hit Legend tomorrow. But I have a fun deck plan, so I don't know if it's going to do all that well. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, though, so uh, make sure to hit that follow button.